It's been three and a half years since the start of the COVID pandemic, and we're starting to see the full effect that it had on the D.C. region. Financially, that meant a $1.6 billion loss in taxable income between 2020 and 2021. Jeanette Dale with Axios reported on this. He's live with us now to break down why. And uh, I mean, we knew that a lot of businesses took a hit during the pandemic, but whole entire cities. Uh, what was what prompted this? What exactly happened? The pandemic's migration has impacted the DC's uh, re revenues. I mean, you had $1.6 billion in taxable revenue leave the city as people left the city. So people looking to live in cheaper areas and cheaper locations. This is a trend affecting cities across the nation uh, between 2020 and 2021, that $1.6 billion in taxable revenue leaving the city, that's equal to a 7.6% drop that's found by the Economic Innovation Group. So, um, and they looked at what's ailing cities, and this is what's hurting cities, people leaving uh, urban centers during this period. Wow, okay, this is this is all news to me. I understood, like Maureen said right. from the beginning, maybe businesses took a hit or even, you know, people lost jobs, but does this now, are we looking at the, the slide of people did, let me put it this way. Did the pandemic kick off a mass migration out of Washington, D.C., or is this starting to just even out now? D.C.'s population went down a bit for sure. Uh, you know, people left because of the pandemic. They left because they could remotely work from other places. Uh, and, and people leave D.C., you know, typically even before the pandemic, they would go to Maryland or, you know, a, a more less uh -huh. expensive county uh, to buy a house or raise a family, that sort of thing. Thing. Um, there's a one bright spot here, though. The incomes of people who stayed in D.C., they grew by about $3 billion. So that, that made up for the money that was leaving. Oh. But it's still a bad indicator for cities. When you have people leaving cities that are, that are, overpri that are pricing out people, um, it's something uh, that people want to solve in the future, the city so, leaders. So, Jeanette, I'm wondering, are cities looking to lure these people back, or are they content, well, D.C. in particular, or are leaders here content with the fact that the people here are making more money? What, how does this all peter out? How, what happens at this point? Mm. With cities, I mean, cities are going to lose pandemic relief funding. So there's going to be a lot of looking at how can we make up revenue, how can we get money back into cities, D.C. included in all this. So... Uh, first, you got to stop people leaving and you got to have people come back into the city if they've left. And, and one of the ways people are trying to, you know, cities are trying to lure people is uh, for affordable housing, uh, trying to require employ employers to bring staff back into the office. That right. has a, you know, effect on people staying in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, this Labor Day, past Labor Day, now that we're past Labor Day, it's sort of the first day back to the office for many companies, and we're going to see, I think, more companies maybe go in that direction again. So that's what's all at play here. Uh, when you can work from anywhere, uh, you know, right. why stay in sort of expensive cities? And so. We don't have data for 2022. That's something to we'll watch as well. Um, but the pandemic certainly had a big effect on where people live. It sure did. Jeanette oh, Dale with Axios you. talking about pandemic era migration. We're going to see the effects of COVID and the pandemic for quite a while, I think, in every industry. So yeah. this is just another indication of, of uh, how big of a hit a lot of people took. Why would you leave D.C.? It's such a beautiful it place. It really is. I don't, is. I don't stay here. <laughs>